this summer went by in the blink of an eye. It was like yesterday when the lilacs were in full bloom. First long-awaited warm summer rain finally came and the fox cups were running around. Everything was starting its life cycle in nature. garden was in full bloom, birds were chirping, trying to enjoy the small moments in the hectic life of countryside in the summer, I slowed down to really enjoy the picking of herbs and found new happiness for working in the garden with my new colorful wheelbarrow. And then, with a leap over the midsummer solstice bonfire, the days started to shorten again. But that didn't mean the summer was over. The fields were buzzing with bees, berries started to change color. The days were filled with sunshine and warmth. Plants were going crazy growing in the weirdest places possible, showing how much power the summer bears. Even one of my house plants that I had thrown out in the spring due to her dying had gotten a new surge of energy for life. The magic of sunshine and nurturing summer rains. Evenings were warm and we enjoyed them between working as much as we could and as much as the mosquitoes would let us. Listening to the cicadas playing their violins every night and catch a glimpse of a shooting star when the evening started to darken again. More rainy days, more sunshine, and heat, more berries, more freedom in walking with the nature, enjoying the slight summer breeze, the sounds of life everywhere. A familiar feeling started to creep up in my soul, a longing, longing for something inevit inevitable to come. Picking berries and letting my mind wander I started to smell something familiar in the wind. Change. Oh, on a little side note. This little guy is actually a lizard. A legless lizard called slow worm. Even though it looks more like a snake, right? And so the harvest began more and more vegetables every day cucumbers zucchinis onions and of course tomatoes my greenhouse was like a jungle filled with yellow red and orange fruit warm from the touch of sunbeams waiting to be picked waiting to be savored as the precious gems of summer to nurture and fill our bodies and souls Preserving that food for winter became the next task. From pickles to tomato sauce, a way to carry on the summer treasures into the dark hibernation time. A way to enjoy our garden all year round and remind ourselves how rewarding it really is. No matter how hard the work, it pays off in the end. Because there is nothing better and filling and the food grown by our own hands. And without notice, we found ourselves facing the last day of summer. The fall equinox was here. A time to reflect, let go and show gratitude. To celebrate the culmination of hard work and the fruits of labor. And so we light a bonfire for transformation and renewal, a way to let go of negative energy and the burdens we carry. 
to breathe a little easier, to pay our respects to the sun for giving us a long summer. We have a saying, storks gone, bad weather. And just like that, the storks flew over the sky and the weather turned colder. I picked my pumpkins and started to prepare my garden for winter, for the dark and cold days ahead. The summer has been good to us, overflowing us with its warmth and abundance to the extent where it becomes almost tiring. And that's why there is a need for transformation to another season. For us and for the nature to catch his breath and rest for some time before rising up again, before a new cycle of life starts all over again. The darkness is winning the fight with the light. The days are becoming shorter than the nights. The world slows down, preparing for the slumber. And as the sun is setting, I whisper to the wind, nice knowing you, summer. See you next year. <laughs>